All right, so welcome to haste. So for the start here, focus those chain gunners, then just kill whatever, and make sure you save a few bullets for the next fight. So this is a wad by, let's see if I remember all the mappers, uh, Bemused, Scotty, Gazebo, obviously, uh, Nirvana, I, Archie made one map, and I think that's it, if I'm forgetting anyone, my, my apologies, and yeah, this is comparable to Micro Slaughter Community Project, in that it's, like, short, punchy maps, but, uh, it's a lot harder in my opinion. I'm sure you've seen Decino's playthrough of it. So for this part, interacting with the door starts the next fight. I like to just punch the uh, the imps and the revenant, and then we got to punch out some cacodemons, which is a little more awkward. You can see I uh, I'm tempted to use some rockets, but nope, gotta use the fist. Yeah, punching cacos is a little more awkward, but no big deal. I always like punch them right after they shoot a projectile, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't make a difference. Shooting that left switch there opens up an arch file. Shooting the right switch actually does something different, so that's why I do the uh, left switch first. This arch file we also gotta punch out. Uh, be careful that he doesn't like resurrect anything, because if he resurrects a chain gunner, it can be uh, pretty bad. And yeah, pressing that right switch opens up the door. And I fell. You saw that I missed some rockets and some bullets. That's uh, not too good, but it's whatever. We'll just have to use... Uh, just have to rely on Berserk a little more for this next part. Punch out some imps. Then chain gun the rest of the shotgunners. And you do get a lot of shells from this, which is nice, because this map is uh, pretty tight on ammo, as you can see. Shoot like one or two rockets at these imps. Finish them off with some shotgun. You know the deal. And now I'm going back for that ammo. Yeah, this is a very, very sloppy demo, but... It's whatever, I just took one exit, didn't bother redoing anything. So for this part, enemies come down one at a time. First it's a chain gunner, then it's like three imps, I believe. The imps you can punch out. Then it's like two revenants. Then one caco and a pain elemental. I like to kill one of the revs, make the other in fight the cacodemon, and then punch out the pain elemental. This pain elemental was very, uh was misbehaving. And by the way, if I do, like, forget anything that happens in these demos, I do apologize. They are a few months old. And yeah, just let the infighting happen. Revenant wins pretty much 100% of the time, so you can just finish them off, finish them off with Berserk. Yeah, easy. There's also some ammo over here. This time we're not going to forget it. But we are going to forget the uh, the keys, because of course. The next fight requires the uh, yellow and red skull keys. Which can be found on the, uh, the imp platforms. Other ones on the other side. Now for this fight, it's actually kind of tricky, there's going to be arch files on both sides. The uh, the perched mancubi you might have seen earlier also get released here. Now here, a severe lack of rockets does not help for this fight. And this imp, I just had to punch him out because he was getting a bit too close. And I miss like all my rockets. So I have to go in, finish him off with berserk. And I eat a zap. <laughs> Told you it's a bit of a sloppy demo, but whatever. Got a pretty nice, uh, pretty sexy kill on that guy, at least. And since we're out of rockets, got a chain gun the rest of the stuff, which is not a big deal. And 
And this Revenant here, I peekaboo shoot him with the, uh, the shotgun. You can run in and berserk him if you really want to, but he can just shoot at you while you run at him. And if you eat a uh, high damage, it's over. That's why I just peekaboo shot him. Now here, I want... I make a sound first to teleport in some Revenants. And then I head up, because I want him to be a little closer. Don't want him to ambush me. And then another Revenant behind the bars. There's a monster block line here though, so... Yeah, he's easy. Now, I don't know why I pressed that switch, I just wanted the medkits. And now it's final fight time. And this final fight is actually kind of tricky. Bunch of barons and a cyberdemon. Revs and imps on each on both sides. What I like to do, make the barons... I'll, uh, get all the barons killed by the cyberdemon. While you focus stuff on the other side, on the, uh, on the sides. And this arena is actually really, really awkward because of the crushers. And there's an SSG in the middle, so you can finish off the uh, the cyber once he's done. Finishing off the cyber is really awkward as well because of the ar arena. But thankfully in this demo, he did some really, really good infighting. And he was mostly... He was kind of torn to shreds by the barons. Didn't have to, uh... Clean up too much. Of course, dodge and fighting rockets as well. And there we go. Pressing that switch lowers the things on the side, so you can press those two switches. And the final two enemies are just some specters on the, uh, behind the left door thing. I don't know. And yeah, that's it. Uh, pretty solid map one. Uh, fun combat. Of course, a bit of ammo starvation, and, uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. Decent map one. Let's go to map two. Oh baby, a gazebo map. That means it's going to be really difficult, right? Not really. I mean, it's a uh, it's a pretty tough map, but not nearly like Sunder. So I go to this wing first, the southwest. You can see on the auto map, and I first target the uh, the revenants, then the pain elemental behind you. I find this one the hardest personally because of the pain elemental. He really likes to just spam lost souls. And, as you can see from this, uh, this fight, it's mo it's mostly gonna be, like, rocket-based combat, like, maximize your splash damage, avoid face rockets, all that good stuff. Yeah, it's a really short fight. Behind the doors, uh, in our trial, you can just lock in place. And get the blue key. There's three wings to this map, each, each one gives you a key. Go for the secret berserk that we're never going to use. And yeah, we can move on to the next wing. By the way, let's appreciate this cool looking ceiling. Like, look at the auto map. It's so cool looking. Now for this fight. Uh, first, target the archvile and the group of revs. Actually, I think it's just one rev. And then try to target the Arachnatrons. It can be a little tricky trying to kill those Arachnatrons because the Cacodemons can get in the way. But just uh, give them a little shove, I guess. <laughs> Push them out of the way with your rockets. Not a lot of people know it, but you, uh, you can actually just... Well, actually, no. A lot of people know it. But you can just sh shove uh, Cacodemons away by damaging them. It's a blessing, but a curse. A curse because it can cause you face rockets, and a blessing because, well, you can get them to move, move out of your way. And now, two more Arch Riles. You can get them to, uh... You can lock them in place like the other one, but I failed to do that this time, and I paid the price. I ate a zap. 
I suck at this game. <laughs> and yeah. Just grab ammo, grab all that stuff. Next wing. This wing gives you basically infinite rockets. Enough rockets to last you the entire map if you do it first, pretty much. And by the way, are you seeing uh, a trend with this, uh, this map so far? Supercharges before the starts of fights. Green armors during the fights. Rocket-based combat. Archviles after the fights. Yeah, this map follows uh, like specific patterns. But yeah, just make some space with the imps, then target the, uh, the revenants because of AD damage, and yeah. Now it's getting a little dicey, getting down to low health. <laughs> 10 health, and by the way, that brown liquid on the floor is actually damaging. Pretty sure it's 10 damage floor, so yeah, now I'm being real cautious. By the way, pressing the switch right there, that switch. Uh, activate some crushers that help you kill the Mankubai. Get two medkits up here to heal to heal up though. I'm pressing this switch. Wow, who could have guessed? It's some arch files. Just uh kill them from up above. Yeah. Now it's finale time already. Grab the key. Appreciate the cool ceiling again. And yeah, get the BFG here. Grab the Mega, all that stuff. Now, for this finale, first of all, kill the perched Archvile. And then I didn't really have a specific strat, I kind of paid for it because I eat some rockets. Well, not some. A rocket. Right there. And, yeah. Just make everything in fight, and you're pretty much good. Not a super hard fight. Maybe target those pain elementals. If you're going for time, you can uh, wound the cybers as well. just about time to start cleaning up the cybers. Most of, most everything is dead. And yeah. There's something like five cybers which are absolute gods at just <laughs> killing everything for you. Of course, dodging fighting rockets. That, uh, you've no need to even point that out. It's just a given. Final six enemies. It's a small archvile wave. They're released once you press this switch. And they're in this little, like, cubby here. And yeah. Not too bad. And that's the entire map. Very good stuff. I kind of feel like this is like a second map one, but I don't know. It feels like it could have been map one, but I feel like the finale just kind of made it... I don't know. Having a finale like that in a map one definitely wouldn't have been very fitting. But yeah, it's a very fitting map too though, and it's great stuff. Alright, the first Rivix map of the set. And it already starts off pretty brutal. Two Revenant Hordes on each side. But as long as you max your maximize your splash damage, should be good. And save some rockets and also don't eat every missile ever. <laughs> uh, save some rockets for the next fight coming up here. And ouch! That was like a 
70 damage or something. It was a high damage for sure. And ran out of shells. I know they're both wounded, so finished him off with some pistol. But the Hell Knight stayed alive. Had to kill him with some rockets as well. Survived three rockets, of course. And yeah. Next fight here. Rocket your way through some imps. And we're just gonna let the uh, the cyber kill everything. Now here, <laughs> Arachnatron refused to get out of my way. Nice block map there as well. Yeah, I could have easily ate like every projectile imaginable there. Eventually, I just go in for the BFG and hit the switch. Let's you out of the fight. But there's no way to get back here, so... Yeah. Make sure you kill everything first. And yeah, we're gonna make the cyber- gonna make the cyber demon kill literally everything. Wanna save as much ammo as possible for the next fight, which is a huge Huge difficulty spike, in my opinion. Now the Cyber, give him one good BFG shot. Finish him off with some SSG, because he's super wounded from the infighting. Alright, now this fight. This fight is probably... It's a, uh, it's de it's... I don't know how to describe it. It's like you'd have to play it for yourself to like really understand it, but it's definitely a huge difficulty spike in my opinion. Uh, clear out some space, kill the imps first, then the pinkies. Don't worry about dipping your toes in the damaging floor as long as you have that space. Then it's all good. And there's a cyber demon behind me as well. Who hit some revs. Try and actually kill the Archvile if you can. <laughs> and yeah, that Cyber Demon is doing some good some good work. I really, really like that BFG shot. Oh, oh yeah, 15 health. Nice. I really like that BFG shot. Gave the ball to the uh, the pain elemental, tracers to the archvile. That was a nice shot. And yeah, try to lure all the, uh, most of the enemies to this side of the arena. Let's also kill that pain elemental. So you can focus on these arch trials. If you hit the arch trials and then go to the other side of the arena, they can easily snipe you because the, uh, the range increases. Their range increases when you hit them. And kill that pain elemental as well. And by now the fight's pretty much won. And infighting was really, really good this time around. 24 shells, 32 rockets by this point. Really, really good. You can also use like one or two BFG shots if it gets a little dicey as well. Thankfully, didn't need to this, this, uh, this demo. Yeah, the last enemy we're gonna kill in this map is the, uh, the Cyber Demon all the way in the back. He can actually hit you pretty easily with, like, infighting rockets or even while you're just camping in these little, uh, little areas here. He can actually hit you. And yeah, hitting both the switches reveals 80 more cells so you can kill the Cyber Demon. Gave him one point blank, and then couldn't give him another point blank, but he died anyways. Told you he was uh, weakened from the infighting, and yeah, that's uh, that's the entire map. It's basically just two fights, three if you count the uh, 
be getting Revenant Hordes. And yeah, that's it. Very good stuff. Bit of a difficulty spike and yeah. Alright, map 4. So, for the start, just target the, uh, the weaker enemies. Hit scan especially. And yeah, it's not a not a very hard fight. Sniper revs can get you sometimes though. They're 80 damage. And yeah, this is a uh, this is obviously like a Plutonia 2 like tribute. I'm gonna go for the secret. Uh, real soon here, right here. Gonna grab a supercharge and uh, focus on the revenants first because 80 damage, just like that. <laughs> and uh, then SST the Hell Knights. So yeah, this is a. Uh, you can tell by the Plutonia 2 like visual style. You can tell by the Plutonia 2 MIDI. It's uh, definitely a uh, Plutonia 2 tribute. It's a good one. Yeah, you only have to press one of those switches to uh, lower the thing, and we'll we'll uh, we'll kill those revenants in a minute. So for this fight, target the Arshwell first. Do some rockets, and then just kill out kill the rest with SSG. Not much to, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Lowering the lift, reveals a bunch of chain gunners. Give them some rockets. And now, what I like about this map is that the arenas are all, like, reused. Like, if you have one fight in one arena, it'll likely be reused for another fight. Which I just think is a really cool idea. So, for this part... Uh, rocket down all the cacos, and then we're gonna make the cyber kill pretty much all the revenants. All the perched ones up there, all the ones that come to the floor, you know the view. This MIDI is actually a really, really Big oh 80 damage. <laughs> Smitty is actually a huge cat jam. Deadly Town, I think it's called. Yeah. I mean, if there if there's any revs that like refuse to in fight, you can kill them yourself. Ammo wasn't too tight, but just having that in fighting does help. Once everything's dead, give the cyber a nice point blank, and that's the fight. And now I believe we're gonna kill the uh, the revs. I just opened those bars because why not? Yep, these revs from the start. Now that we have some more rockets, we can kill them now. I'm gonna go back to the secret and grab a supercharge, and we're gonna start the next fight. So for this fight, target that Archvile. I shoot two BFGs in case the first one doesn't kill him, and try not to catch too many Mancubus fireballs. I mean, it's a little out of your control, but I don't know. And then Cyber can do um, most of the work from here on out. That's going to be a, uh, a theme with haste, I feel. Cyber's doing most of the work. Or at least most of the cleanup. There's honestly not a lot to commentate over if it's just going to be uh, infighting. The main reason I want to, uh, again, ammo isn't super tight, so the main reason I want him to invite so much is 
so he gets wounded himself because then I can I don't have to use two BFG shots on him I can use just one BFG shot and then some uh, some SSG that's the main reason I want him to fight so much and once again this arena will be reused check it out the entire thing raises back up that's awesome so kill that first archvile with BFG, then BFG this archvile. And get the hell out because of those chain gunners. It's not a Plutonia 2 remake without chain gunners. And then now nah, it's just clean up. I try to kill the uh, the pain elemental with SSG. <laughs> it doesn't work too well. Then I'll just try to kill him with uh, like infinite splash height. While also trying to kill some revs. He eventually dies though. Now I got a big big old rev ball chasing me. Uh, and an Archvile spawns on the teleporter that you come out of, so don't forget about him. He is very easily forgettable, honestly. Yeah, that's that fight. Now, I want that supercharge. Uh, do yourself a favor, don't forget about this. Uh, raising these bars, interacting with that, uh, reveals the supercharge. I wander around for like a solid like 30 more seconds trying to figure out how to get it. So, uh, so sorry about that. Wandering around. Feels like a David demo. I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, I eventually figure it out, and we can now start the final fight. Get a big stack of cells, big stack of rockets. Pretty sure there's stuff... Yeah, there's asleep barons in front of the, uh, the barons that have woken up, so... You don't have to worry about them coming out. But yeah, make the cybers in fight. I killed this cyber. You don't really have to honestly unless oh by the way I failed the two shot him so I have to use four shots on him and from here this is actually a pretty safe spot if you want to like cheese the fight but since I'm a bit of an anti cheeser I say screw that I could have kept the uh, the other cyber alive honestly and this goes very wrong gotta BFG spam my way out And yeah, from here, just camp in the hallway, pump some rockets, fight's pretty much won. Pretty sure that cyber in the back actually manages to survive, which is pretty surprising, considering, you know, the monster density. Don't know why I'm using SSG here. Yeah, from here, you could just use BFG if you wanted to, but for some reason I just decided to use SSG. There's a uh, Archvile's in the back of the other hallway, by the way, which we're gonna kill right now. Just balls of steel them. And there we go. Don't forget the key as well. And then I don't understand why this is a thing. You gotta like, you gotta raise the bars and then that switch uh, lowers the lift. Then you gotta lower the lift and then you gotta run back. I don't understand that. But yeah, the final four enemies, small revenant ambush and an arch rival that teleported in and that's it. And yeah, I had to fall off the staircase because of course. 
yeah, real good uh, Plutonia 2 tribute. And it's a solid map. Very fun. Let's go to map 5. Alright, so here we have the first Nirvana map of the WAD, map 5. And I gotta say, it's Nirvana's maps in this WAD are just really, really cool. They're really unique. Definitely like a new type of uh new type of map for me like they're all really open and just yeah they're really cool so we start off trying to make the cyber demon infight those revs he completely failed don't know why I'm using rockets here uh, switch to SSG I try to make the cyber demon basically kill everything in the uh, in the starting area except for maybe some perch stuff because ammo is actually really, really tight in this in this map. Oh, and by the way, I do want to point out we got the start eight midi going. Uh, it's not the uh, the exact one that's used in start eight, but it is very fitting considering both wads are really, really uh, both this map and start eight like really focus on ammo scarcity. But yeah, this big group of imps, gonna use the cyberdemon. That perched mancubus, gonna try to use the cyberdemon, but I think I end up failing to do so. I think I just kill him myself. Yeah, gonna run around the cyberdemon a bit, trying to make the mancubus shoot. Man just refused, so I just decided, whatever, I'm just gonna kill him. And you might have seen it on the left, the uh, the supercharge lowered. That's actually one of the secrets, and we're gonna get it real, uh, real soon, later in the map. And now for the maze part, Baron gotta lure him out. Gonna use the cyber demon. That's gonna be a uh, a theme in this map for sure. Cyberdemon will carry you for like the first two thirds of the map. This archvile here, we are gonna kill ourselves. But the other Baron gonna lure out. So, uh, same with those few imps. The Baron, I think, he just refused to come out for a little bit. You gotta be real patient with this map, cause it's just, just let infighting do its thing. Cyberdemon can be a real pain in the butt, for sure. Now, I don't really know what I'm doing there, just weakening that mank, I guess. Because now we're gonna go in the maze, and these imps we can't really lure out very well, so just gonna kill our, uh, just gonna kill them myself. Same with these Manx, they cannot be lured out at all. They're too fat. Next fight, when you press this switch here, it's gonna be a bunch of, uh, yeah, I'm just looking at the Cyber Demon. It's gonna be a bunch of Revs and Hell Knights, and once again, try and guess what we're gonna do with them. Well, first of all, kill those uh, two pain elementals that teleport in. They're your biggest priority. But, we're gonna use the Cyber Demon! Who could have guessed? There's also an Archvile there, who usually likes to infight with stuff, but you, de you do want to kill him yourself. And I got some, uh, some lucky dodges, for sure.
And yeah, uh, just use the Cyber Demon for most of the enemies. You don't really have to kill all of them using the Cyber Demon. But this will be the last thing he will be used for. You know, there's not really a lot to commentate when it's literally just using a Cyberman to kill everything in the map for you. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, starting to just kill some of the enemies myself. Now that most everything is dead, I'm going to start working on the Cyberman. SSG him down. You got enough ammo for the rest of the map by this point. If you've uh, done all this in fighting. Next part here is the... Uh, this is a cool fight. Pressing on those like fleshy buttons on the ground lowers the walls so, and uh, you saw the arch files in the back so basically you want to run to the back of this uh, this place and by the way I want to lure the Baron out because if he gets resurrected in that uh, hallway he, it, he'll just cause a lot of trouble and uh, yeah just run to the back of the hallway try not to push any of the but try not to uh, run over any of the buttons because these walls are your cover and yeah it's a really cool fight pretty easy though only three arch files just give them some rockets again if you've done this much in fighting in the map you basically don't really have to worry about your ammo anymore Now you can grab yourself your BFG, and now we're going to go for the uh, the two secrets. So there's a line def trigger, like, towards the back of the map that lowers the supercharge. It's a very odd trigger. I don't know exactly where it is, but yeah. And standing on the, uh, like, the red pillar there lowers this teleporter, which gets you a uh, green armor. Lots of uh, weird triggers. I don't know how you're supposed to find these like in blind play. Well, I remember in my blind playthrough, I was like hell bent on the uh, the red pillar being something, but I didn't know it lowered a teleporter. And yeah, this is the hardest fight in the map here. Use all your BFG. I got really lucky. It's like six arch vials or something. I got super lucky. None of them even zap me. Yeah, then just gonna kill these uh these revs far over there. And you gotta kill all these uh these revs yourself. Not a big deal though. If you do run low on rockets, you could always just use chain gun. Now we can grab ourselves the uh, the yellow key. And I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I thought that there were still some rockets there, but I I already grabbed those. And yeah, with the yellow key, you can hit the yellow switch which will open up the pyramid and final two enemies, two cybers if you have enough cells easy peasy I had enough to uh, to three shot each of them but I decided that's lame, that's boring I'm gonna two shot both of them and uh, yeah that's the map and you do, once you hit that switch you do actually have to wait a minute good old sunder switches and that switch lowers the exit. 
yeah, uh, Firebug. Really, really cool map. I dig the, uh, the openness of it all. Uh, Nirvana's other map, map 10, is real similar, but it's all, it's, uh, a lot tougher. You'll see. And, uh, yeah, good stuff. Let's go to map 6. Oh, baby. Now this is a good map. So, you start off grabbing the BFG and focus down those pain elementals because they'll make your life a living hell. Grab the SSG. It's easy to just eat a lot of damage in this first fight if you're reckless. But, uh, yeah, just keep refilling on ammo. Clearing out space. Looking out for that cyber, of course. I actually decided to target the revs first since, you know, 80 damage. But yeah. You can use, uh, you can definitely use more cells here if you want, but <laughs> Cyber just hit me with a bunch of rockets. I don't know why. Could have easily been avoided. You can definitely use more cells here if you want, but, uh, I don't know. All the, uh, all the ribic wads uh, just taught me. <laughs> Save your cells. If you don't need to use cells, don't use them. That's what, uh, ribic wads taught me, and it, it's a blessing but a curse. I'll tell you that. Pressing the switch reveals two arch vials. They're actually pretty easy to forget. I've had a few attempts where I just forget about them. All right, grab the rocket launcher, shoot a few rockets at the pit, at the revs, then turn around and BFG the arch vial, and then finish off those revs. By the way, cat jam. This midi is so 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 good. Take those pills and be who you are, I think it's called. Really good stuff. Alright, grabbing all the ammo. Don't forget the secret, by the way. Secret is, uh, by those shells. These two BFG shots on the pinkies, just to clear out some space, then pump some rockets. And once the, uh, the Hell Knights start coming over, I'm gonna try and get some infighting with the, with the, uh, the Cyber Demon. So if they get too close, Feel free to use some BFG. Ammo isn't too tight in this map, but you know me. Paranoid about my cell usage. Now just clean it up with SSG. One last Hell Knight. Trying to get him in fighting with the Cyber Demon so I can get a nice point blank. And there we go. By the way, those those cell packs are in packs of two, so yeah, you can be a lot more reckless if, with your cells if you want to. Shooting that switch reveals three arch files. Pretty easy if you know they're coming. And yeah. Now for the next part. This is actually the hardest fight for me in the map. Because, I don't know. I just really, really, really suck at it. I had no good strat. I targeted the chain gunners first. And then the, uh the revs to because of the 80 damage and but I always ended up like getting overwhelmed by hell knights and I always ate like a bunch of high damages I don't know why but yeah this fight is only really difficult for me don't know why I'm sure it's a breeze for literally anyone else. Yeah. 
And once again, being paranoid about my cell usage, want to save as much as possible. You Again, you really, really don't need to. You can use as many cells as you want. As long as you have a good amount of cells for the next fight. Because the, uh, the next fight is pretty interesting. And yeah, cleaning up with SSG again. Time can definitely be a lot faster as well if you uh, use more cells. Gotta hit the switch. Alright, now this fight. Try and have 600 cells. If you don't, it's not that big of a deal. Because there's going to be multiple waves of our trials. And they all come in... Uh, Groups of three. You can even get some nice uh, pre fires if you want. But yeah, just kill them as quick as possible. Last group actually has four. And yeah. Even had a mega uh, even had a mega to spare. Alright, now this part pinkies on both sides of you when you get near the switch just bait the uh, the pinkies behind you spam rockets into the uh, the other side and yeah once the other side is uh, clear then you can turn around and start pumping rockets into the other side by the way I just I just want to say I feel like the cat jam gif would be so so fitting for this uh for this map if it is really fitting i might like edit it on screen maybe put it in the bottom left or something i don't know now i'm just i don't know all right now i'm just going for the secret that i missed shootable switch right there told you it was by the shells Another Berserk that I don't need. Gazebo just loves useless Berserks, I guess. Had one in map 2 and had one in this uh, this map. Alright, in this final fight. This should be the f hardest fight for you, but for me, I don't know why. It was it just was the Hell Knight fight. Alright, so this fight. Bunch of Imps and Kakos and four Perch Cyberdemons. Cyberdemons can really, really easily splash you going around the uh, those corners. Just grab Megas when you need them. There's two of them. And yeah, just try to kill the Cybers as quick as you can. And I really, really ate it there. But it's fine. Managed to reach a Mega. Could have easily gotten rocketed there, but thankfully he was in fighting. And yeah, once uh, once all the cybers are dead, then it's pretty much free. And yeah, last two enemies are just some things that didn't teleport in. You can hear them now. The last enemy, I like this kill. Killed him from behind, uh, behind my back. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the map. Really, really cool map. I gotta say, really good MIDI, really good visuals. I love it, man. It's definitely one of the highlights of Haste, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's go to map seven. All right, map seven, Magma Temple. So for this start here, it's nothing much. Just run a Rakdatron, a few pinkies. And uh, two revenants coming up soon. Be sure to actually grab the ammo because sometimes I forget to do that. And I gotta say, I really, I really like the. Uh, it's a, it's a heretic midi, but I know it from uh, Scythe too. This or this uh, arch vial here can be a bit of a pain because there's not much cover here. 
you only really have this one rock. If you hide behind the, uh, the one with the tree on it, you can actually, he can actually see your head. So he's still in your, uh, you're still in his line of sight. So grabbing the plasma, then going on this rock. I'd like to push through the imps, uh, through the left side, but I failed to do so. But that's it was completely fine because they actually made a path for me on the right. And then you can grab the rocket launcher and just rocket down everything else, including that pesky Arachnatron. I'm just finishing off stuff with SSG, chain gun, whatever. These imps up here are also easily forgettable. And by the way, if you see me, like, nah, never mind. This mancubus up here, you really don't have to kill him. He, uh, you can kill him later once you have more ammo, but whatever. And if you see me pausing like that, I think I, I streamed this one live on Twitch, and I might have been reading chat. I pause like that every so often in this demo. Now just rocket down the uh, the revs and archvile. You can actually kill the archvile. Will want to resurrect pretty much. The archvile will want to resurrect a lot of the and yeah, I paused again. A lot of the revs, but you can actually kill him faster than he can resurrect the revenants. The revenants kind of act as like a meat shield. Now this lift gets you the yellow key, but uh, stepping on the lift spawns a bunch of nasty enemies, a few revs, and a pain elemental. And I ate all those rev missiles. It's okay. All the way in the distance over here, if you are a few uh, med kits. But yeah, the uh, pain elemental lived for a little too long. Spawned a bunch of lost souls. Got some good infighting with the uh, Cacodemon and the Rev, though. But yeah, if you can uh, have this fight under control, it's really not that bad. Now, don't, uh, don't do that. <laughs> don't fail that jump. It's just a waste of time. This is honestly one of the sloppiest demos I've ever recorded. Now we can go up here. Kill those few changers that were annoying us earlier. And for some reason, I don't know why, I thought I had forgotten the blue key, but I didn't. So I went back down. I don't know, man. And by the way, this door here is actually an any key door, so if you get the blue or yellow key, you can actually uh, open that door and start this fight. Now, this is a little uh, intimidating because you see those arachnatrons and cacodemons. There's actually a fake floor there, so they don't wake up. It's just imps and hell knights for this first phase. But you kind of have to chill in this spot right here because there are... Archvals and chain gunners, as you can see there. Second phase releases all the uh, arachnatrons and cacodemons. So I just use a few BFG shots. Archvile when you uh, step in there, and I dropped all the way down to 25. They didn't kill that uh, archvile in one shot, and the arachnatron was just blasting me a bunch. And hitting that switch behind me there, that crushes the archviles and chain gunners. But the archviles can actually zap you if they're in, if you're in their line of sight uh, while they're being crushed, so be careful of that. And by the way, this backpack, be sure to actually like grab it because <laughs> I forgot it in this demo. Oh, oh, and look away, look away. 
Epilepsy warning, by the way. <laughs> I was so pissed that I missed that jump. I mean, it only wastes like 10 seconds, so it's whatever. And yeah, having 200 200 for this final fight is uh, very, uh, very good. You pretty much want, need 200-200. Oh yeah, and here I realized I forgot the backpack. And by that point I wanted to just slam my face in my desk. Now for this final fight. Pre-fire BFG. Because you're going to get three cybers. This is actually... Compared to the rest of the map, this final fight is actually kind of ridiculous. I mean, it's still not nearly that bad. I like that BFG shot though, by the way. Peeked around the corner, gave a point blank. But yeah. By this point, it's just pain elementals. So, only thing that can really kill you now is uh, lost soul chip damage. backpack wasn't even needed. And feel free to just BFG spam. As long as you save maybe like three or four shots, you should be fine. Because the final three enemies, it's one Baron in a small cage and two Archviles guarding the, uh, the blue key there. And yeah, final enemy is a Baron, and that's the map. This is actually, I'll, I do feel like this is one of the less memorable maps, but I do, it's still a solid map overall. I, I like, I enjoy playing it, it's a good map, and yeah. Let's, uh, let's go on to map 8. Map 8. So, this is probably the first, like, major difficulty spike of the WAD. It mostly focuses on uh, close quarter combat, as you can see. Start off in a room filled with imps. Not a lot of space to move around. Still, not too bad. It's only really difficult because of one fight that's coming up real soon. So, once you open up the doors, all four of them open at once. I sometimes forget which side they're on. One arch file on each side. And yes, yeah, stepping out of the- uh, making a sound outside of the, uh, the box wakes up a bunch of enemies, but don't worry about it. There are just a bunch of enemies that w would have been woken up when you start the next fight anyways. Because you, uh, you start it with a shoot switch. So, grab the mega, grab the plasma start the next fight so this fight is ridiculous so you gotta like so make the cyber in fight with some revs you gotta this map is really tight on ammo as well I gotta say so you gotta save as many cells as possible you gotta really promote that in fighting so I just chill in the corner for a bit then push through press that switch grab the rocket launcher and then just dip just go to the next fight while uh, the cyber in fights everything and this fight is also really tough Four barons in a really, really cramped area. If you get pinned, if you get cornered, you're pretty much just dead. Last guy you can SSG though. Now we're just waiting for uh, infighting to do its thing. The most threatening enemy up there is are the two arch vials who usually one or both of them survive uh, once the cyber is dead. But by now, kill count's good enough that we can just open up the door to the next fight, or the door to the main area, rather. And we gotta kill stuff from uh, this hallway. And yeah, look at all the stuff that would have been in that arena. You would have had to make the cyber pretty much kill everything, because ammo's really tight in this map. 
And I actually did almost run out of ammo in this uh, hallway here. I would have pushed through with plasma, but the uh, the archvial wanted to zap me, and I had to hide back in this hallway. And by this point, I'm thinking I'm just dead. There's no chance. I got no ammo. There's a bunch of corpses here. The archvile is just gonna resurrect stuff if he comes in here, but managed to die from the littlest bit of splash damage. Really thankful for that. And yeah, when you do get out though, you can grab just 300 cells and a supercharge right off the bat like that. And by now, the, uh, the rest of the map is not nearly as bad. This switch opens up the next area. Oh wait, no. It starts uh, around 2, kinda. Like, it's around 1.5. It's just one arch file. Maybe two. I forgot. I don't know. And a bunch more revs, but now you got a rocket launcher. You can actually make use of that splash damage. And, yeah. Not nearly as bad. I'm gonna take a sip of my, uh... Mocha, sorry if you can hear it. Oh yeah, and the Baron Doorman! The classic. So yeah, just grab all the ammo. And then move on. This little encounter here, it's just a uh, Rev and a Baron on each side. You can honestly just use SSG here. I did not make good use of my pellets with the SSG, but it's all good. Now this next fight here, another pretty cramped fight. It's going to be two waves of revenants. This is the first wave. Just fire some rockets, then use some plasma. Second wave coming right now. Right now. I swear, I know the timing right now. <laughs> you do got some uh, some time between each wave. And then right after that, this door will open and reveal an archvile. But if you know he's there, you can just uh, keep him in his little area here. And grab the blue key. And your reward for that fight is a uh, supercharge. grab more ammo. Pretty sure you can just grab all the ammo you can carry because we're not coming back here. And this blue switch here, the first time I played, I was not able to find it for crap. It took me like 10 minutes. Gazebo himself had to tell me. Because I was uh, streaming my blind playthrough of uh, Haste. And this fight, I absolutely ate it. I ate two zaps, ate all the imp scratches, just you can do this so much better. I mean, I don't really have a clear strat for this. Just kind of hide behind the pillar if you're getting uh, zapped, but yeah. That's the penultimate fight. Now it's time for the final fight. She will switch there, reveals the secret backpack, which you don't really need. And some very easy platforming right before the final fight. Even if you do fall, there's teleporters out. It's not a death pit. And by the way, I don't know if you can see it because of YouTube compression, but there's like lights on the very out outer walls. And it just looks really cool. Now, Decino calls this fight evil because you can't really see the Cyberdemon shooting at you. You gotta shoot shoot at the revs, but as long as uh as long as you use very slight movements Listen out for the cyber shooting at you. It's fine. It's very, very easy. 
Pretty sure he called this fight the hardest in the map, but it's really, really not that bad. And yeah, now it's just plasma him down. And that's the map. This map, I, I love it, man. It's, <laughs> uh, of course, it's all uh, close quarter combat, and I, I love the visuals as well. I love the BT BTSX MIDI as well. I, I'm an absolute sucker for like wood themed maps, and yeah, this is just really, really good stuff. Good job, Gazebo. Yeah, let's uh, let's go on to map nine. All right, map nine. This is a good one. So right off the bat, we're gonna go for our first and only secret, Telefrag the Cyber, because he will be a pain in the butt for the entire map if you don't do that. <laughs> so for this first fight here, it's a it's a lot. Bunch of revs, cacos, hell knights, just a lot of everything. So I like to run around and camp in this little spot here. And I like to focus those pain elementals. They are an absolute pain in this arena. And of course, be careful rocketing those lost souls, because of course, it'll be it's easy to face rocket on them. And yeah, as long as you make those semicircles, horseshoe maneuver should be good. And there's a two superchargers in this arena if you need them. But yeah, just keep pumping rockets. Plenty of ammo in this map. And yeah, some pain elementals stayed alive. So they're my number one priority. The Kakos can also be a bit of a pain because they can actually fly like over the uh, the bridge up there and ambush you. <coughs> but yeah, of course the less enemies there are, the easier it becomes. Now I go over here, look for any uh, chain gunners that stayed alive. There was actually one of them, one chain gunner that uh, stayed alive, he just didn't want to show his face. And now, just pumping rockets into the imps. It's super satisfying killing those imps, I don't know why. That switch reveals a teleporter in this corner, and you can grab yourself the blue key. And a bunch of chain guns. Also, you can kill those imps at the start. And there is one chain gunner, you see him in the back. I notice him uh, on my way up the lift. Right up here. I see him, I try to chain gun him, and he starts shooting me just out of auto aim range, so I gotta wait to kill him. Alright, next fight, you get a bunch of cells, mega armor. It's just a bunch of barons, hell knights, not hell knights, sorry, imps, revs, all that stuff. I focus the, uh, the enemies up above instead of the enemies on the floor because uh, I want to maximize that splash damage. Again, not a huge deal because you get a lot of ammo in this map, but I don't know. It's just satisfying to kill a lot of stuff with splash damage. By the way, just like map 8, we got another BTSX MIDI. I absolutely love it. This mini is probably one of my favorites from uh, BTSX episode 1. 
Now we're just cleaning up the barons with SSG, HR Pog, switch to rocket launcher eventually because it's boring. All right, now we got the uh, the probably the hardest fight in the map. Just collecting all the ammo first. So for this fight, what I like to do is grab the supercharge first. I like to just rush into the uh, corridor here and try to kill the Archviles as quick as possible. By the way, don't press that switch because it reveals an Archvile here. It's a miracle that I managed to one-shot him, but yeah, it just reveals an Archvile and uh, you can make your life harder. But yeah, imagine dealing with the, uh, the Archviles and Barons on the bridge while, like, the Cacodemons eat up uh, all your rockets with auto-aim. And while you uh, rush them in the corridor, it's really easy to just, like, get double zapped. It's actually uh, really lucky that I didn't even get zapped once in there. And yeah, it's a lot of cacos as well. Sunder 19 doesn't have anything on these cacos. Not really. But it is a lot of cacos. Alright, and uh, go on this ledge here where the archvile was, hit the switch, and grab yourself the red key. This map is only really three fights, honestly. And then some just enemies dotted around. And those revs you see over there, those are the, uh, those will be the final enemies of the map. Alright, now this fight, I go around from this side for a very specific reason. I want to pre-fire a few BFG shots. My goal with those pre-fires is to kill at least one archvile. I didn't manage to kill any, but that's okay. Typically they like to infight in this fight, and you can just kill them once they uh, start to come out of the crowd. Like this guy here. Managed to kill two with that BFG shot, that was nice. And then I go in for the switch as soon as I can, because it reveals a Cyber, and he just uh, speeds things up, which is pretty nice. And I want to save as many rockets as I can, so I can uh, rocket down those Arachnatrons from down below later on. And I saw that! Saw that in Fighting Rocket. Sorry if that was a bit loud. But yeah, that was a nice dodge. Always, always keep those in Fighting Rockets in mind. And this is a nice two shot. Kind of messed up the timing there, but it's all good. Still managed to get those point blanks. Now I'm uh, rocketing those Arachnatrons. And with that, I uh, accidentally splashed a few revenants there, but that's okay. There are uh, a group of revenants when you... On this lift here. You only really have to use one BFG shot, but I use two because I have a lot of cells left over. Oh, and look away. Look away. I ate every rev missile and fell off.
Oh, and look away again. Ah! That hurts to watch. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these uh, demos are pretty sloppy, but it's all good. Super casual, you know. These pain elementals here, they can actually go through the teleporter, which is really annoying. Because when they do, they just like to spam Lost Souls. Drop back down to grab those last few cells. Alright, the final few enemies are just the revenants I was talking about earlier. Just BFG spam. No big deal. And this last rev I wanted to uh, kill with magic with the BFG tracers. But the wall actually ate my uh, BFG ball, so punched him out for style points. Didn't even have Berserk. And yeah, that's the, uh, that's the map. This is a really good one. I It may seem like... It may be... One of the less memorable ones for some people, but I don't know. I just love it. It's it's got a good MIDI. It's got a good. It's got good combat, and yeah, I just really it's really good. Uh, let's go on to map ten. All right, so go up the lift right away. Grab the armor. It would have spawned a bunch of enemies if I had shot, but they don't teleport in until you shoot. Grab the SG, kill that shotgunner, and then just try and kill as many revs as possible. So, this map is... This is the ha second hardest map in haste, easily. And it's for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> so, uh... The, the map is ridiculously tight on ammo. So you gotta promote as much infighting as possible. So I'm trying not to kill the, uh, the hit scanners unless they get too close. And I'm letting the uh, imps kill stuff, letting the hell knight kill stuff, just... Yeah. Promote as much inviting as you can. Cyber can also help out if he uh, shoots rockets in the right place. There's a sniper cyber on a faraway island. Yeah, try and save as many bullets as you can, by the way. And once you're done with that start, then it's time for the platforming. This platforming is really, really easy to mess up. You get a secret supercharge from it. It's That's why I do it right off the bat at the start of the map. Very awkward platforms as well. And then, this is why you want to save bullets. You got a chain gun and arch vial. Uh, don't really focus on the arch vial as much. Focus on the faraway cyber. And just, you know, duck if he, uh, is shooting rockets at you. I made it a point to, uh, stay behind the wall, even after the volley is done. In case he shoots a, uh, second volley. And yeah, that guy fell down, but luckily, he was really low, so I managed to kill him super easily. And that zap was super unfortunate. Getting zapped from that far away is quite rare, but since this map is so low on resources, that zap is pretty much going to stick with you for the rest of the map. And yeah, just use the rest of the bullets on this arch vial. Auto-aim was uh, really not cooperative with me. I was shooting the, uh, the box a lot. And then just get in his face, SSG him down. If you do, if he does target you while you're uh, SSGing him, you can hug the box, and you'll only take uh, the 20 zap damage. The cyber actually managed to infight some of the Hell Knights on that platform, which is pretty lucky. All right, grabbing the red key spawns a bunch of revs. 
Oh, and I forgot to mention, uh, this is Nirvana's second map of the WAD, and once again, it's very open, just like map 5. So, for these revs, I like to make the Cyber try and hit as many as I can, and he didn't really invite very much of them, but you only really need one of them to invite, because once he's distracted, you can do the platforming to the other island. And by the way, these are death pits. If you fall off in the platforming, you are dead. <laughs> now comes the most tedious part of the map. We're going to make the Cyber Demon kill mm, pretty much every enemy in the map. Well, pretty much enemy, every enemy that is currently alive. The Hell Knights, that faraway Mank, the Revs. It's really annoying to get him to kill the revs because he needs to be able to splash all of them. So oftentimes you might have uh, one or two revenants left over once you have to kill the cyber that you have to, sh uh, have to use the regular shotgun to kill since they're so far away. Theoretically you could platform back and SSG them down, but no. <laughs> It's tough platforming as is, and just, they can also just shoot you, and you'll get knocked off. But yeah, in this demo, the Cyber managed to kill every single Rev, which is really lucky. Now I'm just trying to get him to kill the, uh, the Hell Knight. And once everything's dead, just SSG down the cyber. You do get a plasma, don't use it. Because the next fight is... You want to save all your cells for the next fight. This backpack here is on a platform, and I always, <laughs> I always uh, align myself going back because I'm really scared. I use the auto map to uh, get to the edge of the platform and use the vertical mouse. Now that we have the backpack, we can carry a lot more shells, kill those pinkies, and prepare for the hardest part of the map. So, pressing that switch releases four arch vials on this tiny platform. And if you get zapped, you're likely just dead because... Oh, I'm very lucky stone right there. You're likely just dead because you're just gonna get flung off. Though thankfully, in the, uh, like, three or four times I got to this part, I only died once. The other two or three times died to the platforming going back because I was really scared. This demo was, uh, I don't know if it was before the Dimensions demos, but I was really, really prone to nerves at the time. And yeah, the, uh, the Archvals really like to resurrect everything on the platforms. I forgot to mention it, but I did eat, like, <laughs> three fireballs at once. You can back up a little if you want to see that. Which is also very unfortunate because, again, low health and those, uh, oh, and this platforming, my weapon turned dark, so that, mean, that meant I was on the very edge of the platform. I nearly fell. But yeah, every high damage roll you take pretty much sticks with you for the rest of the map. The platforming isn't that bad on the way back, but I still managed to fall like twice. Alright, hitting those two switches starts the final fight. So I like to camp behind this rock right here to lure the Archviles out of the center uh, center building. This actually isn't the best spot because two more Archviles uh, teleport into your right. But yeah, as long as you can dodge them, you can go to the center place, grab the blue key, and grab the rocket launcher. And with the rocket launcher, 
you're gonna kill all four archviles. Fun. And for the love of God, don't waste rockets on like single, uh, just single imps. That was a major mistake. You want to maximize that splash damage. And all three rev all three archviles came in at once, which was really scary. But managed to kill all of them. And by the time the uh, all the archviles are dead, the fight's pretty much won. The cyber will take care of most of the imps and the hell knights and barons. I hide behind this wall because I thought I was uh, worried about rockets and I ate like a 56 damage fireball. And right now I'm like, oh crap, I gotta just find as any health I can because I was super scared. But yeah, healed all the way back up to 72. Now I can tank a uh, 64 if needs be and I'm feeling a lot better about myself. And again, the uh, cyber. There's also a berserk there if you need it. And in that uh, little place where you start the final fight, you can grab some more rockets and cells. And again, the cyber will invite all the barons, hell knights, imps, anything. And once enough of them die, I was actually trying to go for time a little bit because uh, the previous record was like. 10, 15? I don't know. It was by Red Bull, uh, and I, it was, it was just a little bonus if I could beat that time. I did not, but it's whatever. One exit is good enough. Because this map is gigamauled. <laughs> this map was really annoying to run. And I went up to the exit thinking, I'm done with the map, but nope, gotta press some switches. And yeah, this map is actually really, really good. It's really well designed, but God, it's so annoying to run. It's so annoying to max because of the lack of resources and just all the platforming. The platforming is really awkward. It's a pain to max, but it's fun to like play with saves. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a solid map. I do before and before we go on to map 11, I do actually want to shout out Gizwardo, because he actually, like, speed ran the map. He got, like, an 8 minute run, so yeah, shout outs to Giz uh, <laughs> I cannot talk. So yeah, shout outs to Gizwardo. Cat Jam. So, for the start here, you get the red key right off the bat. And just SSG everything. Just a bunch of random enemies, no big deal. One archvile way in the back there. And you can actually hide in this starting area. Got zapped, I don't know why. But uh, there's actually a monster block line there. So if you want to just chill there, you can. But yeah. Save your rockets for the next fight. SSG everything down. Promote some infighting to save some time. Yeah. Hell Knight got wrecked by the revs. Interacting with the door here does not open the door, it instead starts the fight, and the main goal in this fight is to kill the uh, the three Archviles. Killed two of them really early on, which is really nice, and the third one sitting out all the way back there in the back. He actually managed to get hit by a Mancubus, which is nice because then he doesn't have to doesn't bother me for this uh, while I just kill the rest of the enemies. Also, I can just run around him and grab the resources. Alright, just kill the Manx, and... yeah. Oh, and Doom 64! Pog! Alright, now you can open the door and just SSG everything in here. And 
Do some rockets on the Hell Knights, all that good stuff. <laughs> Hell Knight actually got killed by the Imp there. That was pretty nice. Oh, and here I really, really mess up. So, I accidentally fell, plus I grabbed the Mega. So I just thought, oh, I'm just gonna go up the lift again, it's, it's all good. Nope. You can't go up the lift again, so you can't grab those rockets. So you gotta start the fight without it. Which is a uh, really, really not what you want. So, grabbing the yellow key, starts a nice fight, teleports in an invuln, and now you just want to kill as much stuff as you can. And you can see why I wanted all those rockets. Luckily a few of them uh, lower when you start the fight, but still. I preferably would have wanted a hundred. Cybers will also do some good work on the uh, the enemies as well. But once the invuln runs out, it's, uh, it's basically just squirm around all the enemies, try and kill as much stuff as you can. And yeah. Pretty tough fight. Oh, and hello, Cyber! <laughs> Had to grab the Mega, but that's okay. By the way, a bunch of, uh, you can see in the back there, a bunch of the enemies teleport in from, like, a closet, question <laughs> mark? Uh, there's an invisible wall and a bunch of teleport lines, and the, uh, they just teleport into the arena from there. Typically, one Hell Knight stays alive in that, uh, box back there. And he, it, it is... Uh, you know, I'll show you in a minute. But also there's a bunch of uh, spider demons off, t off on the sides back there as well. They just didn't fight without being asked. But yeah, once enough stuff dies in this area, uh, you can plasma down the cybers. This is a good spot because they can't actually reach you. They can still shoot you, and you can still shoot them. But yeah, you won't be like overwhelmed by them. Alright, now I basically just want, uh, you can see all the dead spider demons, they infought each other. And there's the Hell Knight, back there. And yeah, I'm just trying to get, uh, some infighting going between the cyber demons, I mean the spider demons, sorry. And since that's in an, uh, an invisible box back there, the, uh, the Hell Knight can't actually shoot projectiles at the uh, Spider Demon, so he can't get killed. He can teleport out if you stand in like a s very specific spot. I don't know what that spot is, but yeah. And I'm just trying to get the uh, Spider Demons killed here. Now, I want to go into camera mode, because watch this. Look at the Hell Knight. No clipping fireball through the invisible wall hits a spider demon. <laughs> and since it's an invisible box, the spider demon can't actually hit the Hell Knight. So I was like, when I was recording this, I was like, why is the spider demon going all the way back there? <laughs> Look at her. She's trying her best to uh, try and kill that Hell Knight. Eventually, the Hell Knight does teleport in. Uh, I don't know when, but, yeah. Just be pa- if he does, just linger, be patient. I don't know the right spot for him to teleport in, but, yeah. Eventually, I just say, screw it. I didn't know the Hell Knight angered the Spider Demon, so I was, like, trying to get them to infight still. I just said, screw it, and moved on to the next part. And yeah, I'm trying one more time. Spider Demon's still angered. I was so confused. 
Alright, this next area here, a bunch of sniper arachnatrons. I like to punch the air and let all the, uh, the revs flow in. It's actually pretty easy. Uh, walking too far into the room closes the door behind you, but it, it is pretty easy to just kill the revs in this room, but I uh, woke him up and then just backed out so I could use the, uh, the stairs if I wanted to. And yeah, once you kill most of the revs, then you can uh, start killing this, the annoying Arachnotrons. Auto-aim really does not cooperate with these guys. <laughs> Typically a few revs don't uh, don't wake up. I think they're on ambush or something. You can see those uh, archviles and the king cyber in the back too. The archviles won't get angry unless you get too close to them. Same with these archviles on the sides. Once you're done with everything, they're stuck so you can just rocket them down. press one of the switches, do not press both of them, because if you press both of them, you'll lower the, uh, the arch files on the, on the throne. And yeah, I like to call the, uh, the cyber King Cyber. Guarding his blue key on the top of the throne. Oh yeah, and two of the uh, the archviles fell, which was kind of scary. There's no monster block lines around those uh, the sides of the throne. It would have broken the next fight anyways, so it's whatever. And around the back of the throne are just a few revs. If you take too much damage, it's not a big deal. You're about to grab a mega. And yeah, pressing both those switches. Lowers the sides of the uh, throne and wakes up King Cyber. Just plasma him down. Plenty of cells. And yeah. Alright. So, for this next fight, I like to just chill behind the throne. Grab the blue key. And grab your grab your BFG, and just let the cybers do everything. <laughs> if you do start to get overwhelmed, feel free to just use the BFG. Again, plenty of cells. But yeah, the cybers will pretty much do all the work for you. There is a pain elemental in this fight that you do need to kill yourself because you know cybers won't really invite pain elementals. But it's not a big deal. I actually did take a death to this fight because of a very, very nasty infighting rocket. So always be careful of those. I really like the way that Fire Blue is used in this arena. It's really cool. And yeah, you can get some point blanks on the, uh, the cybers while they're infighting. And tried to get another there, but he moved out of the way. Yeah. That's the fight. That exit right there is not the exit. Instead, <laughs> it starts the final fight. Bunch of archviles and cybers. Which is really scary because... Uh, you can actually... I did run out of cells in this fight. I did not uh, use my tracers very efficiently. You can kind of hide behind the corner though. And it uh, makes killing everything a lot easier. And yeah, didn't kill everything, so I had to switch to rockets. Pretty easy to get overwhelmed because the uh, archviles would resurrect all the corpses that you made in the uh, the big fight.
I was originally gonna let these spider demons kill each other at the, like I was originally gonna just kill the spider demons myself at the very end because uh look at all the cells you get makes the uh, the cleanup very nice but they actually managed to kill each other while I was uh, not looking so last enemy is this spider demon and as you can see from the kills the hell knight did manage to teleport in and yeah that's the uh, that's the map. This map is awesome, dude. I love the combat. It feels like just such a rush. And it's just... It's so awesome, dude. Really great job, to Archie and, and Gazebo. And yeah. Uh, yeah. The, uh... The Hell Knight is a little wonky with the way it teleports in. I'm not sure how it works, but whatever. Not a big deal. And, uh, by the way... Uh, and Kelagon has the max record for this. And it is just a completely crazy time. Like, the previous record before uh, his run was like six minutes something. And Calicon came in with like a 345 or somewhere around that. Insane. I'm really curious to know his route. And uh, I do have an idea of what his route could be, but still, absolutely insane time. And I should really check out that demo. But yeah, uh, map 11, really great. Let's go on to map 12. Alright, so grab the rocket launcher. Rocket down those two arch files on this side. Grab the other rockets. Then focus down those marks. So, this start is actually pretty tough. I see a lot of people, like, skip this start. I, but... I don't know, I just was never really consistent with it. The Archvaz would always, uh, really make my life just hell after the, uh, the next fight. I don't know. This start is also pretty tough, this strat, but I don't know, I found it more consistent. Then just use the rockets on whatever, you'll kill the, uh, these arch files later on. Try to use your splash damage to the best of your ability. If you don't, it's not a big deal. You can kill the imps later. Hitting that switch teleports you to the next area. Fill up on rockets. And then target those manks. There are imps and arch files behind you, but if you target the manks first, they won't be uh, shooting you in the back. And it's very unlikely that the uh, imps will actually imps and archvals will actually like reach you while you rocket down the manx. But yeah, once that's done, then you can target the uh, the imps and archvals. And actually save a few rockets because the uh, it's easy to run out in the next fight. And there's always an imp behind that corner. Don't know why. Alright, now hitting that switch, teleports a bunch of revs on these stairs, just use the rest of your rockets. There's pretty much a 100% chance you will run out, so once you do, which is right about now, run for the BFG, and make that jump, hit that switch to lower the secret supercharge. And grab it and it is it is possible to actually like run over the sector it's a really really tiny sector so you can skip it I actually almost got this demo uh, first try but and I did exit but I missed the secret I did grab the supercharge but I just didn't tag the secret yeah it's a bit it's a bit of a mapping error but it's whatever not a big deal. Once you know, you know. Alright, now for this next part. Run and grab the rockets. Also grab these few cells. Don't really worry about the spider demon. If you do take damage, you're about to grab some more health. And then you can finish off the, uh, the arch files. Now the reason you grab those cells is so you can use two BFG shots on the spider demon there. 
And here are a bunch of cells. Enough cells for the next fight, 100%. Grabbing the red key, teleports in two cybers to this area. Two shot them both and try to kill them as quickly as possible. Because in the uh, the air the room where you grab the red key, a bunch of tacos teleported in. I like to rock them from the left side first. And just use all your rockets. And I look to my right every so often in case some cacodemons start pouring in from that side. And one did. I don't really know why I went for this health, but I did. It does let the, uh, the cacodemons get a little bit of, uh... They move forward a little. They push forward a little. Now once you run out of rockets, feel free to use the rest of your BFG. You're gonna fill up on cells again. Kinda ate a lot of projectiles there. Grab the rest of the rockets and start rocketing from the right side. Now that the, uh, the cacodemons have poured into the right, you wanna start rocketing to the right. There are less cacodemons on the left, so they won't, uh, What's the word? They won't pour in from the left side. Yeah, once you uh, run out of rockets, then you can just BFG spam the rest of them. And as you can see, I still had a ton of cells left over, so if you want to be a little more reckless with your BFG, feel free. And it's already final fight time. So, this fight can get hairy easily. I use one BFG shot to clear some pinkies, then I make the cybers shoot, start some infighting with the, uh, the big group of enemies, and then I just chill in this corner for a bit until the enemies start reaching me. Ammo is pretty tight in this fight. Don't really know why I got stuck there. That was completely unnecessary. But once you get the chance, push behind the, uh, the Barons and Hell Knights. And just BFG spam. I did not kill enough of them and I ate way too many fireballs. So I had to lure them to one side, but it's all good. was able to push through. And I wanted to grab that Mega. Of course, be careful of those infighting rockets. You want to go when they're not firing, and that rocket was way too close. It, like, grazed my ear. And that was a waste of a cell pack, by the way. Don't do that. Again, ammo is actually very tight in this fight. It actually came down to the last BFG shot in this demo. Now, the rest of the cells are right by the cybers, which is, it's always super scary to grab the th stuff in front of the cybers. Because they can just rocket you if they want to. Though it's not very often when that happens. Now I just try, I just wait. I want the cybers to hit, hit them with some rockets, but I get impatient. I just use a BFG shot. Luckily they all died in one BFG shot. And the last three enemies are the Cybers, which you do have to kill yourself. There is no Crusher. But that's okay. And this is why I say uh, ammo is pretty tight in this map. Because they eat a lot of your cells. And here I realized I uh, forgot the yellow key. It's behind all the enemies. Typically I grab it when I'm uh, BFGing the Barons and Hell Knights, but yeah. And that's the map. Uh, I do feel like this is another one that's not super memorable, but still, it's a good combat, good visuals, and still a very solid map overall. I actually really like this map. Um, I, one final note I have on this map is that uh, this is actually the record on DSDA, and this is a super casual demo. I just submitted it because it beat the, uh, the previous time. 
So if you want to go ahead and max this map, beat my time, absolutely feel free. Uh, let's move on to map 13. Alright, so we got a bit of a crazy start here. Run around the cyber and hit the switch. Open up all the barons and the other cyber. And we got a pass this fight for this first fight. So once both the cybers are in fighting, just leave. Grab the BFG, armor, shells, rocket launcher, all that stuff. Try not to wake up the uh, the two cybers behind you. I did manage, I did actually wake up one of them, but that's okay. We're just going to chill in this corner here until the Cyber teleports in. Right here. There's two Cybers over there. If you're fast enough, you don't wake up either of them and you can just chill in the corner until the switch lowers. Hit the switch. By the way, be sure not to shoot until later in this map. A bunch of archwells get crushed when you leave the fight. I don't actually know where they teleport in, but whatever. The cybers can easily just hit you when going back up. Open up both the rev both the rev closets, and then you can shoot and just make them in fight the revs. So once you shoot in the other fight, uh, dodge <laughs> that nice dodge of the on that in fighting rocket. By the way, once you shoot, a bunch of enemies teleport into the previous fight. And we just left because it's ridiculously difficult, and we want both the cybers to uh, deal with them. So for this, I use one BFG shot on each cyber, then I go in for the SSG. I was actually pretty lucky that the cyber didn't shoot me on my way out of that closet. Thankful for that. And yeah, he was uh, easy to finish off. So for here, you can just poke the, uh, the cyber and make him infight some Hell Knights and Barons. Both of those closets reveal Hell Knights and Barons. You can just get them, get the Cybers killed uh, prematurely. Grab some cells as well. And check this out. Look at the Cyber. <laughs> Look at the Cyber on the pillar. Literally the main reason you uh, pass this the first like minute of the map is because you want both the cybers to fight, but one of them got stuck on the damn pillar, of course. So I'm just trying to get the, uh, that one cyber to fight. And then here, use two BFG shots on the barons, then just pump some rockets. The monsters can open up the closets, by the way. And then here, do the same thing. Two BFG shots. Except the Cyber didn't actually die. He managed to kill stuff, which is really surprising. But that's cool because he gets to finish off the Barons for us and we just SSG him down. Not a big deal. And as you can see, there are a ton of supercharges in this map, but pretty much none of them will be used. This is the hardest part. You gotta run on this ledge really fast. If the, uh, grab the red key, get out, run on the ledge really fast again. If the Archvals decide to target you pretty much instantly, you're dead. Oh, <laughs> just, <laughs> just give up. And then here, I did not get my infighting's worth. Most everything should have been dead. And by the way, if the, <laughs> if the si same thing with the Cyber somehow happens to you, uh, you can press the switch again to lower him. And boom, I eat it. Ate an infighting rocket. Luckily, there's some med kits on the very sides there. I actually just said screw it, and I uh, left again. Went to go grab a uh, supercharge so I wouldn't die to damaging floor. And. And one of the, uh, the corridors here is actually a Mega, so you can grab that. You can only choose one, by the way. And you want the BFG first, when you first enter this fight. And then, give a nice point blank to the Cyber. 
And the other cyber actually uh, got back on the pillar because of the tracers. And just cleaning up the rest of the enemies. I do have a BFG shot left over, you might notice, but I do want to save it because the uh, the arch vial that can target you while you do the red ledge running, he does not get crushed. He uh, stays alive, and he's the uh, the final enemy we're gonna kill. So you gotta SSG him down. Did run out of shells, but that's okay. I believe I go and grab a few more shells. Yep. Plenty of shells over there. By the way, I forgot to mention, this map is by Benjogami. Uh, I think you can clearly tell by the style. <laughs> he has a very distinctive style for sure. Alright, final enemy. The Archvile. I grab a supercharge because I'm scared. <laughs> and I, uh... Make my the player's origin. I hover above the uh, the damaging floor on the other side, so I don't take damaging floor damage from the uh, the ledges, and just kill that archvile and then run back. And press both the switches, and you're done with the map. So uh, that was uh, that was map 13. I went into this map expecting it to just be super super annoying and just a complete hell because of the uh, the pacifist start but actually I got this demo first try and uh, the time is absolute garbage because of the <laughs> because of the cyber uh, getting stuck on the pillar I have gotten sub 5 in practice pretty easily so if you do want to go give this map a shot why would you I mean <laughs> I honestly think this uh, this map is probably the least fun in haste sorry Benjo but I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, I got it first try. If I can get it first try, so can you. Uh, but yeah, this is currently the only de only max demo on DSDA, and the time is absolute garbage. So, if you do want to go and beat this time, feel free. Next map, next map, oh boy. I'll see you in the next map. Aw, yeah, the map you guys have all been waiting for. Or you just skip to this part of the part of the video. <laughs> so, circle around the pillar, grab all the uh, all the supplies, and just target whatever. What matters most is just making some space and trying to conserve that mega. And once everything's dead, then you can start to kill the uh, sniper revs. This MIDI is such a cat gem. This map is just awesome. This is probably one of my favorite demos I've ever recorded. You'll see why. So, grab all the ammo, grab the plasma, and then we got a mini start eight here. Small revenant staircase. Bunch of enemies down below. They'll then fight each other. There's also a bunch of uh, chain gunners on a ledge. Blow up the barrels to clear out some enemies if you want to. Main thing I wanted to kill were the uh, the chain gunners because chip damage. And then just kill whatever. You can use plasma here if you want to, but I don't know. I just feel like saving it for other fights. That was a... Uh, an awesome kill. <laughs> Double killed Hell Knights. And, uh, block mapped through the pinky. That was awesome. Running up the stairs triggers a line def that lowers the, uh, the pillars. Then you want to lower them again. Because of this arch file here. Managed to get a nice three shots off on him and then, uh, chain gunners finish him off so I didn't even need to really hide. You lower those bars to, uh, hide from the arch file, by the way. Sometimes I forget to do so. Alright, now use the plasma, because a bunch of revenants have been revealed. Uh, 
Uh, if you hide behind the pillar, you don't wake up three of them. Just lowers the uh, the chance of being overwhelmed by them. And these last two, you can SSG. Pressing that switch reveals a few more revenants, a couple pinkies, and a mank. There are barrels on each side in case you want to get them with some splash damage. Or maybe it was just the side with the revenants, I'm not sure. But then, cross the gap, grab all the rockets, grab the megasphere, rocket launcher. Uh, the fight is triggered by a line def, it's not actually triggered by the switch. But you really want to maximize your splash damage for this part, because keeping these barons at bay is... You gotta really maximize your splash damage to do so. But it's all good. And then, rocket down the arch files. They respawn like twice, and it's annoying. And a lot of the time, I don't, I'm not sure why. It might be a block map thing, it might be because of the ledge they're standing on. Oftentimes, they take five rockets. I'm not sure. But then, press the switch, and the entire thing raises. By the way, that lift is like 60 sectors. Uh, Bemuse was in my chat when I streamed this live. He told he was telling me that the, uh, the lift can get really m jank if... Uh, enemies are on it, and they can actually just get stuck and softlock you. But yeah, that lift is like 60 sectors, which is insane. But yeah, for this fight, rocket through the imps, and then just kill whatever. If you drop low, there's a supercharge to your right. Guarded by a revenant, though. I love how Bemuse, like, focuses his game, his combat on, uh, plasma a lot. He like gives you a plasma right off the bat and then gives you a ton of cells. And I skipped past that megasphere you might have saw might you might have seen because we're gonna save it for the next fight. Alright. Right up the lift, and here we go. Here's where the map really starts. The stair fight. A lot of people consider this to be the uh, the hardest fight of the map. Not me. Uh, if you use so bad strat, it can actu it's actually really consistent. I was 3 for 4 on this. Just plasma all the imps, then go up the stairs, kill the revs, go back down, go back down the stairs, go back up the s stairs on the opposite side, Plasma some more revs, and by this point, it's basically just a bunch of up and down, dodge the cyber if needs be. And once you've done that a few times, then you can just chill and plasma down the revs. Just spam your plasma. You got plenty of cells. You can't even use some rockets if you really want to. And I just finish off with the SG. And then uh, this cyber. I played that really well. How much damage was that? Like 116 total? I think I take a little bit of splash from this guy. Yeah. So it might be like 120 total or something. Hundred twenty two damage from that fight I took. And I baby moded that cyber. Alright. Now this is the hardest fight for me. Uh, if you were there for the stream, you saw how much I was just... I was getting really, really upset with my consistency at this fight. But uh, I looked up to Ceno strats. And it became really consistent for me once I started using the Ceno strats. Just plasma down some the imps on the one side and the mancubi. Then go to one side, start plasma and cacos. 
once you start getting overwhelmed, go back to the, uh, the side with the imps. Keep plasming them until they're all dead, and plasma the cacos again. Again, lots of plasma spam, though eventually we are going to switch to rockets. Plasma is just your best friend in this map. It, uh, makes it so just the cr the, like, these are very tight encounters. Like, you can run out of space really easily, but with all the cells and the, uh, the plasma, really, uh, you can get out of these situations quite easily doesn't make the map any more any less difficult though all right these arachnatrons they are just out of auto aim range you gotta stand right on the edge to kill them oh and by the way at all costs do not grab the bfg it spawns a bunch of revs from the teleporters over there and that's just not something you want to be dealing with in this fight and then i start killing the imps on that side as well from the ledge And this Cacodemon Corpse really makes things tougher. Because I can't see uh, the edge of the platform. So I take the long way around. If you do accidentally spawn the revs by grabbing the BFG, it is actually possible to survive. Though, it's just... It makes the fight, like, five times more difficult. I got this run really quickly. I think it took like 14 attempts total. I only took two deaths to this platforming fight. But still, it's like nine minutes in. It's a shame that the map like really, really gets difficult quite a ways in. Alright, now grab the BFG and just spam the, uh, the revs. You got plenty of cells. And that's the platform fight, which in my opinion, again, hardest fight in the map. And those are death pits, by the way. Now this guy, this guy is a meme. If he wants to, he can literally just rocket you, frame one, and just, you'll eat it. I played it really safe with this guy. You get plenty of cells, so don't really worry about your efficiency. Now it's time for the penultimate fight. I was checking for uh, any more cells, even though the final fight does give you quite a few cells. But first we got some platforming, and I learned from David's mistakes. Slow down at the end so you don't accidentally eat that supercharge. Alright, got some 180 action, pre-firing. Just kill as much stuff as you can. This fight is not nearly as bad as the, uh, the platforming fight or the stair fight. Though, just watch. What matters... At the start, it's just clearing out as much stuff as you can, making some space. Ate quite a few projectiles there. And Revenant ate my BFG ball, so I couldn't get as much uh, traces on him, and I ate everything. Dropped down to 32 health, pushed through everything, didn't take a scratch of damage. I have no words. I should have died there. <laughs> Once you kill both sides, uh, both of the Arshvals, then you can just rocket spam, BFG spam, whatever you want. The fight's pretty much won at this point. But yeah, that was super clutch. I 100% deserve to die. <laughs> and these cybers, you don't actually have to kill them yourself. 
Uh, like right here, you can lower this wall here and reveal a switch. Oh yeah, and Baron blocked me. Almost ate a cyber rocket. You can reveal a switch which actually crushes the cybers. Uh, I'm gonna open the auto map. Uh, IDDT. Let's see. You can see where the uh, these cybers are. There's actually crushers there. So yeah, killing them is just a waste of cells. Stardust, Starduster presses the switch in his run, so if you want to see uh, those crushers, watch his run. It's a lot faster than mine anyways. Press the switch. Three arch vials in the center here. Not too bad though, because you can just get them stuck. Now it's time for the finale. Only six enemies, how bad could it be? So the lift lowers again. Pre-fire on one cyber here. There, uh, one cyber teleports in on each corner. Once you kill one cyber in this corner, you can just camp. And Dimensions Map 3. So this cyber here just said, hey, what's up? And just... <laughs> invaded all of my personal space, so I actually ate it. But still, managed to survive. Having a BFG shot left over is actually nice, by the way, because... Up this lift. Two barons. That finale is so, so, so scary after everything you've done. And yeah, the uh, exit is a damaging floor. Yeah, that was... Uh, that's a map. That's map 14. <laughs> it's easily the hardest map in haste, 100%. And this is again. This is probably one of my favorite demos I've ever recorded because of that uh, clutch moment in the penultimate fight. Plus, I uh, streamed my attempts of this over on Twitch, and like everyone was in my chat while I was doing this. So, uh, shoutouts to all of you in chat. You guys know who you are. Love you all. And, uh, yeah, this, uh, an amazing map, amazing MIDI, amazing combat, I love it, dude. Another crazy start here, so just wake everything up and then watch in fighting do its thing. So, this is Ribix's uh, second map in the set. By the way, I kill the Arachnotrons myself because they're big and they take up a lot of space. This is Rubik's second map in the set, and uh, you can tell he was a little less, well, serious about this one. It's still a super fun map, though. But, uh, yeah, once the Arachnotrons are dead, you have space to move around. Cybers will infight stuff. And, yeah, just watch those inviting rockets in the fight's good. There are some uh, sniper arch vials by the med kits. You can see them over there. They can see you from certain spots in the arena, but it's rare that they'll target you, and it's pretty they're pretty easy to dodge anyways, so not a huge threat. So pressing the switch starts the second wave of the fight. I like to keep the cybers alive for it big group of revs. There's also another cyber, uh, a perched cyber behind the revs. And if you're lucky enough, you can uh, get that cyber to infight some revs. In this demo, though, I was not lucky enough to get him to invite. It's whatever, though. These two cybers can do sufficient work. Eventually, you can run around the revs and grab a supercharge, which I instantly wasted. <laughs> yeah, like 90% of attempts were lost at this beginning fight. Once the cybers kill enough stuff, you can just 
kill them pretty easily with SSG. They are super wounded, as you can see. And for the love of God, don't dodge like that. I... That rocket, like, grazed me. Now you can, now, uh, you can kill the sniper archfiles, now that everything's dead. And this is the perch Syra I was talking about. There's also two archfiles. I've actually seen them in fight with the cyber. I don't know how that happens, but it's interesting when that happens for sure. And from here you can grab the uh, the Megasphere, the BFG, and all that good stuff. But I want to work down the, uh, the cyber with the SSG to save some s ammo. And for the love of God, just don't. <laughs> that was 70 damage I could have easily avoided. And when I grab these shells, I eat it. What a waste of a mega. <laughs> and that's not all. Check it. It's coming up soon. I eat another bit of splash damage. Complete waste, which is a shame because this part is actually really scary. Four arch files. They're not too bad, but it is. You can get zapped if one goes behind you like uh like one of them did. Next fight is just some imps and pinkies. You get some rockets, so they're pretty easy. More shells right there as, as well if you need them. Eventually I do switch to SSG. I grab those shells and switch to SSG. Because I do want to save some rockets for both the sniper manks and an upcoming arch vial, so yeah. Smitty is a cat jam, by the way. I've been saying that a lot about uh, Hey Smitties. They're just good. Something I've noticed about this map is that there's actually a lot of resources kind of just dotted around. Although this map is pretty tight on ammo, it just has some resource has a lot of uh like I don't know never mind <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that pressing that switch reveals the arch file I was talking about you can also uh fill up on cells if you're lucky enough a uh, sniper cyber from really far away can work down these two manks and now on this bridge, we have the probably the hardest fight in the map. So when you press the switch, target these two Arachnotrons first, throw a few rockets at the Hell Knights, and then try to lure the Barons to one side, and BFG spam the Pinkies. Try to kill all of the Revs and most of the Pinkies. You can finish off the Pinkies with SSG. But the main thing you want to look out for are those... Uh, Manx up above, who can just easily hit you with their Doom 64s. And from here you can pretty much kill all the Hell Knights, the Kakos, all that stuff. And I tried going in here, but there were a surprising number of uh, Hell Knights still alive, but it's all good. And from here, there are uh, sniper imps, which are quite a bit better than uh, sniper manks, I must say. 
And yeah, I don't want to be wasting SSG on a single imps, so I use pistol. Yeah, I try to save my uh, BFG for other fights. So ammo is quite tight. Last rocket, can we just... Oh, by the way, there are uh, sniper arch vials in the, uh, the room with all the imps, so that's not an option. Pressing that switch raises the staircase, but also reveals an arch vial, so just save a BFG shot for that. And this cyber is actually kind of scary. Though there's a line def there that reveals the first secret. Which you can kind of just BFG spam for. Try not to use too many cells though because I, you might be coming back here to refill your BFG from time to time. I definitely did that in this demo. And I'm debating whether, to whether or not to grab the supercharge. I decide, no. And also you can telefrag the cyber. The secrets in this map definitely, definitely carry the, uh, the run. They make ammo less tight and just, yeah, they help, all the, they help out a ton. Now that we have rockets, we can actually kill the barons. I didn't really need to since they were infighting the manx, but it's all, it's fine. And uh, when you do grab the yellow key, it teleports up the uh, the sniper arch files away, so you can actually kill these imps in this uh, in this room. And I ate a face rocket because, of course. Though it's a good thing I saved that uh, supercharge. I missed the uh, the trigger. It's a very fast lift, so you might have to trigger it twice before actually going in for it. That was satisfying. Four imps, one rocket. Pressing that switch raises up the uh, the part of the bridge with the arch vials. That part lowered when uh, we first grabbed the BFG. That was where the four arch vials were released. Parts of this map are actually like reused, and it's pretty cool. Gave that cyber a point blank question mark. It wasn't a very good one. I didn't get all my tracers off, but whatever. And then, gave him another point blank. I decided, I'm just going to use some rockets to finish him off. He's got to be low, but he was getting too close, and uh, killed him just as he was coming around the corner. And yeah, now I'm uh, going back to the secret to fill up on cells again. Just a few revs, give him some cells, give him some rockets, whatever you feel. This fight here, you can pre-fire a rocket or two to kill a uh, Kaka Demon. <laughs> Not super necessary. You also get some, uh, some shells, which is pretty nice. This map uh, has a lot of pop-up ambushes, actually. You can also grab that supercharge. Which is kind of a waste, because we're about to grab a secret Megasphere. So this Cyber, just ignore him. Drop off to the right, go around. And here's the secret Megasphere I was talking about. And again, you can telefrag the Cyber. Those uh those barons were actually weakened by the uh the cyber from earlier, which is really nice because it saves me uh, a bit of time. And that's where you can also get your third and final secret, some cells that we don't need. Also, Doom 64 Pog. 
It's fine. We're about to grab a uh, another megasphere. For a Ribex map, this map gives quite an unusual amount of health. Well, I mean, the secrets definitely do help. And I forgot the red key. That's okay, though, because I actually missed a, uh, a kill. You might have heard it earlier. It's an imp. I dropped down, thinking I can kill him from here. You might actually be able to lower this... No, never mind. The imp is in the one area that you can't backtrack to. And if you can, I do not know about it. Looking for the imp right now. He's down below. I think right here I'm trying to find a uh, area that I can drop down into. Into that area. But I did actually lure him to this side. So he will be revealed if I go back to this spot. And there he is. There we go. Took a minute, but he did die. 370 kills is the amount of kills you're supposed to have. Now it's final fight time. So for this fight, I hug the wall. The, uh, the wall like descends in increments. And I just like to wake everything up all at once. I don't know if it provides an advantage, but I don't know, I just like to do it. And here we go. This fight is a lot more intimidating than it really is. Just rocket down all the imps, creates a bunch of space, and the uh, the cybers in the center there will infight quite a lot of the Hell Knights and Cacodemons. Though you do want to push through the Hell Knights with BFG. And yeah, once you uh, gain a foothold, we uh, lured a lot of enemies from the right over to the center, which is nice. And now we've lured enemies from the left to the center, and yeah, the fight's pretty much won now. Once you can uh, do some horseshoes, some semicircles, whatever, the fight's pretty much won. Uh, we can just kill the Hell Knight, I mean the Arachnatrons. Wrong enemy. There are quite a lot of cells as well, so you can actually be of G spam if you want, or you could let infighting do its thing with the cybers. I decided just let infighting go ahead. Infighting take the wheel. And yeah, the barons over here you do have to kill yourself. And for health in this arena, you get a whopping two superchargers. But that's uh, that's plenty in my opinion. It's not a super hard fight. And final few enemies are these cybers. I'm going to go into camera mode because I didn't get to show it off very well. Smile! I, I love that. <laughs> Really creative use of mid textures. <laughs> Using the map and terminology. And yeah, once the uh, the final cyber is dead, go around, grab the blue key, press the two switches up above, and uh, that's the map. Haste does have a map 31, by the way, but this. Uh, this map does not have a secret exit. You have to access 31 with cheats. And, uh, yeah, that's map 15. Very, very fun, gotta say. Uh, I don't feel like Ribix took it as seriously, but it's still very good. And, of course, S tier MIDI, and just, yeah, it's a good map. Let's go to 16. 
All right, welcome to the final question mark map of haste. There is a map 31, but it's really short. So for the start, just kill maybe one rev, then push around the pinkies and just completely ignore everything. Grab the rocket launcher, grab as many rockets as you can, kill these sniper revs, kill whatever's around you, and now you can just focus on whatever, the sniper imps, and the floor imps. I even uh, hurt the sniper revs a little. Though the main things you want to kill here are the sniper imps and the floor imps as well. Most satisfying enemies to kill with the uh, the rocket launcher, pinkies and imps. Those sniper revs are actually kind of annoying, because of course AD damage. So eventually, you can run up here, and then it's just clean up, kill the arachnatron, kill these revs, whatever. And by the way, this is the final time you'll probably hear me say this. Cat. Jam. This midi is so underrated. It's from like the Ultimate Doom midi pack, I think. Or maybe TNT. I don't know. It's from one of the IWOD midi packs, I think. And I do. I did make the decision to kill this Cyber early. It's a bit of a shame because if you do die to one of the later fights, which are a lot harder than these early fights, in my opinion. You do have to waste like a solid minute killing this guy every time. You not you don't uh, get perfect SSG efficiency and uh yeah, he's just annoying. And sometimes he just wanders off like that, so I have to use chain gun. And ouch, that was a super high damage roll. Don't know how much exactly, but it was ridiculous. And there we go, he's dead. Crossing a line def in the slime. Reveals an arch vial. Just rocking him down. And I ate another really high damage. I believe that one was a 56. Doom 56 pog. But yeah, just finish the cleanup claim your BFG and uh, move on to the next fight. So this is probably the second hardest fight in the map in my opinion. Or maybe the hardest, I don't know. Uh, the wall's lower. Maybe pre-fire a rocket or two towards these imps. Push your way through to the cells. Stay on the right side of the arena then push towards the left to push through the Hell Knights, and then push through the Pinkies, kill the Manx, and hit that switch. Hitting that switch lowers like two Cybers, which will help out with infighting. And since there's a wall of enemies, you don't really have to worry about infighting rockets as much. And you do get plenty of cells in this arena, so BFG spam to your heart's content. Just look out for that rev ball unlike I did. And yeah, once everything's dead, then you can start focusing on those cybers. And yeah, it's a very hectic fight. Managed to save Omega though, which is not often. Not, uh, not common, sorry. That's the right words. I cannot English good. So for this, uh, this fight right here, I do a very weird strat. I do loops in front of these revs here, which is not ideal because you can easily catch just a bunch of rev missiles. And then I do a few U-shapes. There's sniper arch trials in the back that uh, prevent you from going to the other side of the arena. But the main focus is to just kill as many revs as possible. Eventually, I push through. Kill the uh, the arch file in the back, and then keep BFGing those revs. Push back through them, and don't do this. I ate like every missile there. <laughs> Though there is a mega, so it's all good. And now, basically, we can just switch to rockets.
I do actually try to promote as much infighting as I can in this fight. I want the cyber dead. If the cyber dies to the goats, it'll uh, save me some cells. Which is always a good thing. Though some of the Hell Knights just don't want to infight. I do kill them myself, it's fine. Eventually he dies, and then just rock down the rest. Not many should be remaining. The Cyber always does some good work on them. Also, uh, rocket down those sniper arch files from earlier. Hit the switch, and also hit the hidden switch behind it. That, uh, reveals the secret invuln later on. I don't know how you're supposed to find that in casual play, by the way. That is just ridiculously hidden. Alright, this fight here. Uh... At one point, I decided to just use, like, I decided I would limit myself with BFG usage and use, like, two two BFGs on the, uh, the Hell Knight and one on the Kakos, but I found myself dying here really unnecessarily quite often, so I just decided, whatever, I'm just gonna BFG spam. Plenty of cells in this map. But Muse just loves to give you, like, a ton of cells. And by the way, it goes without saying, those are death pits. You fall, you die. Alright, this is probably the hardest fight in the map. This is the reason I killed the Cyber from earlier, because he would be able to see you in this fight. If you hadn't killed him. So... I reveal this cyber. I don't really have a strat for this. I let the uh, those enemies hit the cyber and then promote some infighting. Then I just use a BFG BFG shot on the uh, the pinkies and then I just let the cyber kill the rest of the stuff. He should be pretty weakened from infighting, so I decide to only use one BFG shot on this uh, cyber to finish him off. He didn't actually die, so I switched to SSG, and watch. Where the heck did that rock come from? I'll show you. So, from all the way over here, this cyber can actually see you from this tiny little crack. You can see the, uh, the cyber corpse all the way over there. He managed to shoot through all of that and he almost hit me I was so surprised when I saw that <laughs> but yeah here are the uh, the manky by and arch files that were annoying us earlier I like to kill the uh, the manks from down here so I'm out of sight from the arch files than the arch files I can just kill with SSG. I had a very, very tragic death to these arch files where I mistimed the uh, zap and I was zapped over the edge and I was flung outside of the map where it's just a soft lock. It was, I felt awful. <laughs> but here you get the red key. I target the arch file first then I go down the stairs and rocket down the revs, and then I get in the pain elementals' faces and just use SSG. I found it fairly consistent. Uh, the zombie men, they're no big deal. You can literally just run into them and they'll just poke you a little. So that's why I landed on that strat.
Now for this fight, this is a bit of an interesting fight. For this, this I have a very inconsistent strat. Push through the revs. <laughs> and kill all of them as quick as you can. Sometimes you kind of come out unscathed, like I did. Took only about like 100 damage. But sometimes you come out with like 20. You gotta be real careful uh, killing these Hell Knights. There are not nearly enough Hell Knights to uh, overwhelm you, so if you want to mix it up, rocket down some Barons, rocket down some Hell Knight, some Arch Vials, it's up to you. Just uh, don't rocket the uh, the Mancubus, because a Cyber Demon will take his place, and he just makes things more problematic. Though once everything else is dead, then you can uh, rocket down the mank. And there's the cyber, waiting for him to shoot so I can get some nice uh, efficiency. Though eventually I just say, I have so many cells left over, by the way, Lost Soul came out of nowhere. I have so many cells left over that I'm just gonna spam. It's not a big deal. Used just enough BFG that uh, I was able to come out uh, come out of this fight with 600 exactly. Very nice. Prison that switch allows you to come back to the main area, and from here, we're gonna two shot this cyber. He did manage to hit the Hell Knights, which is pretty interesting. And I do want to two shot him if possible, though there isn't really a good spot to two shot him. It's whatever I managed to it in the end. And now I'm trying to kill some of the pinkies with uh, infinite splash height. Though it's really slow. It's not working. I just decided to go down. I'm, I was paranoid about them blocking me on my way down. So I just I decided to uh, use infinite height. In practice I was able to kill like quite a few of them with infinite splash height, but in this attempt, I don't know why, I just couldn't. It's whatever though. Now we're gonna go for that invuln secret. There is a small fight there. Pre-fire BFG, kill the Arch file. Get a nice two shot on the cyber. And yeah, that's the entire fight. <laughs> You can actually use more cells here if you want to. You get four cell packs. I only really needed two. Now grab the invuln, and we're gonna take it to the finale. You really don't need the invuln for this finale, but I didn't know where else to use it, so it's whatever. So first thing I like to do, kill this archfile here. Didn't die in one shot. Grab the rad suit because this fight takes place on damaging floor and then just kill whatever. Once the invuln wears off, the only thing that can really kill you now is in fighting rockets. This guy actually managed to get kinda close, but it's fine, he only he died really quickly. One more cyber. And yeah, once th once they're dead, it's GG. You won. And that is haste. Well, that's a lie. There is one more map. It's really short though, and you can only access it through cheats. But uh, yeah, this is a really really cool map. I gotta say, I love the MIDI. It, I'm I adore the MIDI. It's so good. Also, the visuals are are. Gorgeous. I love, I, again, I'm a sucker for wood themed maps, and I just love the, uh, the green as well with like the, the slime and the sky, and uh, yeah, it's very pretty. And uh, yeah. Let's uh, finish this up. I'm sure you're tired of hearing my voice at this point. 
And, uh, yeah, let's go to the short one, map 31. Alright, final map of haste. And it's so pretty. Just look at it. It's so short, but it's so pretty. <laughs> so this was actually a bit of a speed run. I, uh, had the max record for this for, like, a week, and then Dubs took it, and then... And you don't... Whatever. Uh, so... I hit the Barons a little, then I hit the Manx, rush in for the BFG, and BFG spam the, uh, the Barons a little. Once you drop low, back up for that Megasphere, push through. If you drop low, you can grab Supercharges, Mega Armors, whatever you want. And, uh, yeah. Just BFG spam. Just keep filling up your BFG. There are two Megaspheres in the corners if you need them. I also dodge those infighting rockets. The main concern is basically just the pain elementals. But, yeah, everything will die to BFG spam. <laughs> and, yeah, everything's already dead. <laughs> Grab the, uh, the blue key in this corner here. Pre-fire some shots for these arch vials. They really restrict your movement in the, uh, the big fight. And yeah, that's it. Like I said, really, really, really short map, but it's really pretty. And, uh, yeah. That is haste. Um... What can I say? It's a, it's a phenomenal wad. I love it so much. Uh, like I said in map one, it's comparable to MSCP, except much, much more difficult. Be warned. And uh, it's comparable in that it's like short, punchy maps. Except maybe the longer one, the uh, the later maps do get a bit longer. And uh, yeah. It's, a it's by a bunch of mappers that I adore. And, yeah. It's just a great wad. Go play it. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I always suck at these outros. I should just end the video. Thank you for watching this video if you stuck around to the end. Even if you just watched... Even if you just skipped to this map. Thank you for watching anyways. <laughs> I appreciate all the support, and yeah, thank you for watching again, and have a good one.